Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In this video, we will talk about what is a unique key. Right. In the previous video, we talked about what is a primary key. Right. So, uh, in let's say, let's take this table, employee table. Right. And in this, whenever an employee is hired, you know, the company uh, assigns an employee ID to those employers and uh, you know notes down their name and then uh, their uh, citizen ID uh, there is some citizen ID right in uh, some countries it's called a social security number in uh, some countries it's called PAN number or, uh, whatever item number or whatever it's okay some citizen ID so Mr. Uh, McDonald from old McDonald had a farm uh, son he started this company EIEIO Inc and then he hired these people right McDonald that's his he's the first employee Tom Jerry Mickey Bugs Bunny Daffy Barba Papa Yogi Bear these are the cartoon characters I grew up watching I still love those uh, those cartoons and uh, this is my way of uh, uh, paying tribute to those uh, legendary comic creators you know uh, across the world all these characters are popular and this one I want to mention uh, I loved this one also this is a uh, French cartoon uh, series uh, I, I loved watching this when I was a kid if you want any more information about this Barba Papa you know search for this in YouTube fun Okay, uh, so the thing is, uh, as soon as an employee uh, is hired, you know, the employee ID number uh, has been assigned to them. So, this would form a primary key. Basically, it has to be unique and it has to be null. I'm sorry, it has to be not null. It cannot allow any null value. Right? And because uh, you cannot have an employee who doesn't have an employee ID. Okay. So that's the business rule. But then there would be some columns where it needs to be unique, right? You cannot have duplicate values. But then again, you can have null value, right? That's the business uh, requirement there. For example, uh, McDonald, he is already a citizen. So he has a citizen number. Okay, Tom, citizen number. Bugs Bunny, Daffy, they all have citizen number. What about this guy, Barbara Papa? So according to the the story, this guy uh, comes from uh, some different planet, okay, and then tries to uh, uh, mingle in with uh, the human. So he recently came from a different planet. He was hired, but he said to get a citizenship citizenship ID. Okay, Mr. McDonald had uh, has applied for a citizenship ID for him. But then uh, he's yet to get a citizenship ID, but then he already started working. So a null value is allowed. Like that, Yogi Bear, he was living in uh, woods, in, in jungle, uh, since uh, he was I mean, he was living in a jungle and then now he recently joined this company. So he also has applied for his citizenship ID and he's waiting for citizenship ID. So the point is, when they work, when they are hired, they need to have an employee ID, but then they don't need to have a citizenship ID. But if they have a citizenship ID, can this be 415? No, because it cannot be duplicate. Or can this be 610? No, there is already a 610, right? So citizenship IDs, we assume, you know, it's unique if it is there, right? Or some people are in the process of getting citizenship ID. So, how do we enforce this in uh, uh, enforce this business rule here? So, we create a unique constraint. Okay, I'll talk about what is a constraint, which basically constrains the value uh, in a column to a particular rule. So, we create a unique key. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, ignore the word constraint. I'll come to that later, but then we create a unique. So, the unique key enforces the uniqueness of the data, but it doesn't enforce the
the data to be not null okay whereas in employee id it enforces the uniqueness it also need to enforce those things are not null so this is unique key and the foreign key that we talked about a couple of uh, videos earlier it can refer to a primary key or it can refer to an unique key right it cannot refer to any anything else imagine like now you have a column with where you know uh, there is no uniqueness where like there is hundreds of 215 values and then uh, another column referring that doesn't make sense it has to be unique right so this is what a unique key is it enforces the uniqueness in the data but not the uh, the null, null uh, values so it allows null values okay so that is unique key thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions please send it as a comment